today's review, we're going to be discussing the RIVER study, R-I-V-U-R, Randomized Intervention for Children with Vesicourethral Reflux. The central dogma of reflux has always been that reflux increases your risk of pyelonephritis. Pyelonephritis can lead to renal damage or scarring, and that renal scarring has long-term risks of hypertension and end-stage renal disease. And therefore, in children who have urinary tract infections and reflux, we've always felt it was important to either prevent the infections with prophylaxis or treat the reflux surgically. In 2011, the American Academy of Pediatrics came out with a clinical practice guideline regarding the management of children with a first febrile urinary tract infection. As part of that, they recommended against getting a VCUG in this group. That was based on a lot of factors, but one of the main issues was a finding in their meta-analysis of, the, of the literature that antibiotic prophylaxis, which is one of the main treatments for reflux, was ineffective, that the rate of urinary tract recurrence in children on prophylaxis was no different than when children were treated with placebo. This raised a lot of concern amongst pediatric nephrologists and urologists who felt that a lot of the studies in the meta-analysis were flawed, and so the RIVER study was formed. And the RIVER study was a multi-center, randomized, placebo-controlled trial looking at antibiotic prophylaxis with trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole versus placebo in the prevention of urinary tract infections in children with a history of reflux who had had one or two urinary tract infections previously. And they basically randomized these children to get the prophylaxis or placebo and then followed them for them for two years. The primary outcome was the recurrence of urinary tract infections. A secondary outcome was to look at renal scarring. The bottom line finding of the study was that antibiotic prophylaxis reduced the risk of infection by about 50%. And by two years, at, towards the end of the study, the rate of recurrence in the group that was on prophylaxis was only about 10% compared to the placebo group, which was 20%. So a 50% reduction from 20% to 10%. Now 50% sounds like a pretty significant difference, and it was clinically significant. But since the base rate was only about 20% in the placebo group, it's unclear how clinically significant it is to reduce the rate from 20% to 10%. The American Academy of Pediatrics, in fact, came out with a revised version of the recommendations in 2016, which included data from the RIVER study and still felt that it was not important, or in fact, not indicated to get a VCUG in someone after a first urinary tract infection. Now, the whole issue gets a little more complicated because not all children are the same, and we know there are some children who are at increased risk for recurrent urinary tract infections. So even though in overall the risk gets reduced from 20% to 10% with prophylaxis, there might be subgroups that would benefit more from antibiotics. In this regard, there was a provocative study by Wang et al. in the Journal of Urology in 2018, which looked at this issue. They actually reanalyzed the data from the RIVER study, but divided all the patients into two groups, a high-risk group for recurrence and a low-risk group, based on gender, circumcision status, the degree of reflux, and most importantly, the presence or absence of bladder and bowel dysfunction. They looked uh, at these two groups, the high-risk group and the low-risk group, and analyzed the effect of prophylaxis in those two groups. They found that the low-risk group actually had a very low rate of recurrence on placebo and therefore no significant improvement with prophylaxis, whereas the group that was at high risk for recurrence had a recurrence rate of about 30% on placebo, which was lowered to about 10% with prophylaxis. So again, a somewhat larger differential, suggesting that maybe this group might benefit more from diagnosing and treating reflux if it's present. Bottom line from the RIVER study, antibiotic prophylaxis can reduce the infection rate by about 50% in patients with reflux and history of one or two urinary tract infections, and that data can be important in helping parents decide how to manage their particular child. Thank you, and now you're in the know.